Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet a sideways blanket border edging. This is a nice single crochet ribbed edging that can be made to accommodate any border width. I'll show this technique on a small sample, but this will work with any stitch and any stitch multiple. You'll begin by placing a single crochet border around the entire sample. And then you'll make three single crochet stitches in each of the corners. If you notice, I started my single crochet border along a side first. Now it's time to decide how large you want your border to be. I'm starting with the chain six, which will make my border sort of medium size. I'm skipping the first chain and then making one single crochet in each chain across. We'll work in the back loops along this chain and along each single crochet stitch once we get going as well. This will help create the nice ribbed effect to the border edging. Now we need to connect these five single crochet stitches to the actual blanket part. How we accomplish this is we make a slip stitch into the next stitch upwards. As you can see, we started with the chain on the first stitch, made some single crochet stitches, then slip stitch to the next stitch. Normally we'd chain one and turn our work, but with this, instead we're going to slip stitch to the very next stitch. We'll turn our work. Here's where you just have to watch a bit carefully. Skip the first slip stitch and skip the second slip stitch. Then make one single crochet in each of the five single crochet stitches from the row below. If you end up with only five single crochet stitches on this row, you know you did your counting correctly. And I should mention, if you don't like five single crochet stitches, just rip out these rows and start over again. Figure out how many single crochet stitches you do like, then just add one more to come up with the chain number. Once you've completed the five stitches, chain one and turn your work. All outside parts of our border will have the chain one. So we've skipped that initial chain one and now we're making five single crochet stitches back towards the blanket again using the back loops. And as before, we have to connect this border back to the blanket section. So we make a slip stitch to do that. And to begin our next row, we make another slip stitch in the stitch above to help elevate the yarn for beginning this row of five single crochet stitches. For this row, we turn our work. It's important that we skip the first and second slip stitches. And then we begin our five single crochet stitches. Once we get to the end, we'll chain one and work your five single crochet stitches headed back towards the blanket part. And as before, we need to connect this border again to the blanket. And I am going under both loops when it comes to making a slip stitch for all blanket connection stitches. Continue this process just shown for the remainder of this side. Let's look carefully again at our three single crochet stitches in the corner. We're going to slip stitch into each of the three stitches twice. After making a normal side row, we'll make a slip stitch number one into corner stitch number one. And no second slip stitch. Then we turn our work and elevate our loop a bit. We proceed with skipping over that slip stitch and making our five single crochet stitches in the back loops going away from the blanket part. As always, with the outside part of the border, we chain one and turn our work. Now we head back towards the blanket part with our five single crochet stitches made in the back loops again. This blanket corner is going to be a bit tight, so we have to ensure we're counting correctly and placing our five single crochet stitches above the previous row's five single crochet stitches. We make our second slip stitch in stitch number one of the corner. We proceed again with the corner process, which means just turn our work and we make our five single crochet stitches away from the blanket area and at the outside end of the border, we chain one and turn our work. Now we head back down towards the blanket area again. This time we're going to make slip stitch number one in corner stitch number two. Then we turn our work and lift our hook a bit and proceed with our five single crochet stitches away from the blanket area. Once completed, we chain one, turn our work, then work our way back down towards the blanket area. Once we get to that corner again, we're going to make our second slip stitch in the second stitch of the corner. As you might expect, this process helps increase our corner so it flares out and rounds out nicely and doesn't buckle or curl in on itself. And we still have one more corner border process to go. We place our first slip stitch into the third stitch 
of the corner of the border. As before, we work away from the blanket section to the outside section, then back down to the blanket section again. Now we place our second and final slip stitch into the third stitch of the corner of the blanket and border. We still just turn our work at this time, but we're almost done with the corner. Go back up with the stitches and then back down again. Now that we have finished the borders corner, we're going to go back to our original pattern of placing the slip stitch into the blanket section and then placing another slip stitch into the stitch above to help elevate the yarn for the next row. We proceed to turn our work and go back to the original first side pattern for this now second side of the blanket. You can see how all of those slip stitches in rows of five make the corner nice and round and flare out. You'll proceed with making the second side of the blanket, then make a corner and then the third side corner and so forth. Once you've finished with the final corner, use this tail end to sew the two pieces together so they form a solid finish. And that's it! That's how I crochet a sideways blanket border and edging using single crochet stitches.